We're back, knife enthusiast. Today we'll be talking about the K-Bar TDI series. This is a flipper. It is a tactical folding knife from K-Bar. They don't do a lot of those. Let's go ahead and get you a close up on it. Just not too close. And we can start telling you about it. This knife is a uh, eight and an eighth inch overall. The front is G10 on the handle. Very grippy, I might add. And the back is part of the frame. Stainless steel. It is a frame lock. The blade is OS8. Spear point with a flat grind and black finish, as you can tell. Weighs in at 4.75 ounce. Has a wide body pocket clip with three screws, so you shouldn't have uh, any issues there. The blade length is 3.375. It is right-handed, but you can also do tip-up or tip-down carry. So your clip's not reversible, but it is uh, movable. Has a flipper and a thumb stud for opening. As you can see, it snaps into place there if you listen carefully. We like that part. Pretty easy to open. You left-handers, it's got a thumb stud for you, but since it is frame lock, there's no flipping that sucker over. If you want more move there. Has a unique blade design on the top, giving you room for your finger to rest, if you can see there. So it has an indentation. You can also put your thumb there, which fits way better. And the flipper stud keeps your hand from sliding forward. It does not have a usable choil, which is okay with this blade. Let's go ahead and show you how it cuts. This K-Bar is made in Taiwan. As you can see there, it just cuts pretty well. Probably kind of hard to see behind the black blade. I was just checking out the frame lock there. I noticed that when I was cutting, my finger pushed it in even further, which is nice, because further is better than not further. <laughs> As you can tell, it cuts pretty smoothly. This knife will obviously be good at uh, spear cutting and precision cutting. But you can pretty much use it for anything, considering it is, you know, eight and an eighth inch. The handle's pretty easy to uh, get your hand around. I'll lay it on my hand so you can see how big it is compared to my hand. It is just a smidgen, if that's a word, longer. The handle is almost a half inch. The blade is a little bit wider. It's almost an inch at its widest point. But as you can tell, it does the main thing that you need, and that is cut. Extremely sharp, very nice. This particular knife seems to be sharper on the end of the blade, which is nice also. Of course, anybody that buys knives, especially like us, we're going to uh, hone that blade anyway and get it to our desired sharpness, which is as sharp as we can possibly get it without messing it up. So this is the K-Bar T-10. 
TDI series. This is the flipper. You guys are probably familiar with the neck knives, law enforcement knives they make in the TDI series. Nice little knife. I think I'd put this in my collection. On that note, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do a weekly show. You won't be disappointed. If you like knives and you're watching on Instagram, make sure you follow. Knives is what we do. I am C with Atlantic Knife. Signing off. 